Hello everyone, uh, in this video I just want to show you how to uh, make a simple fluid network here in the component form okay if you click on the piping and then you have this choose this pipe and put it here you can see that okay have this this pipe is here then uh, <coughs> I need to define the boundary conditions for that that what are the inlet or outlets and use here nodes that you can see okay add it here and then boundary conditions that add it here here you can see that I can add the nodes to have more uh, pipe here for example connected this pipe to the another one okay another node for used to be for used to for boundary conditions or if I want to add more pipes here is a network of three pipes for each pipe I use the node at, uh, at the node I can add the boundary condition if I want uh, like here that at the, at, the, at the inlet for the first pipe I already did that so if I choose this okay and hit F4 F4 function button we can see that that we have here I can here enter the properties of the of the pipe for example here you can see that I can choose the length okay and the units for the length I can enter the diameter be careful about the units also here if I want to define the losses here roughness wall roughness uh, and K values and also the other parameters for calculating the loss inside the pipe you can see that you can add it here I can add a tank or reservoir here from containers add a reservoir here as you can see okay as you, this is not this now it is connected and for defining boundary conditions back to nodes and boundaries and add the boundary conditions here so as you can see that at the two ends I can define boundary conditions I already define it here a sort, a sort of the network I define a pressure and temperature 1500 kilopascal and 20 degree temperature and uh, for this one I can add pressure uh, lower pressure like say that 100 kilopascal and temperature uh, say higher temperature uh, 40 degree so and always check the uh, units for the for the parameters that you enter so besides the boundary condition at the two ends for the pressure and temperature ones of the network I also assign uh, the specifications for the pipe for this pipe the length is 35 meter and the diameter it is half a meter 40 microns for the uh, for the wall roughness I can add the information for the K values if I want to add the calculation for the loss uh, inside the pipe here I just did just a connection this node for the pipes the next pipe it is 250 meter long same diameter and same uh, wall roughness and for the next pipe I have a 70 meter length same diameter and same wall roughness for the container I consider a hundred meter cube for the volume so I can now come here and run this network to see that what are the 
change in the pressure, temperature, mass flow rate, or what are the parameters calculated? We can calculate in this network. Hit a steady state solution. It shows the, the solution done. You can check the console. It tells you that the, uh, what's happening uh, during the solution. Here in this console, you can see the uh, you can see different results that you can uh, have from the solution in Felonix. For example, for the pressure, you can see that the pressure starts from 1500 kilopascal here, and as uh, fluid passing through the pipes is decreased, ended up to 100 kilopascal at the tank, at the, at the reserve. For the temperature, <coughs> the pressure here, as you can see, start from 20, it is it's about any 20 degree, and ended up to 40 degree that I assigned the boundary condition for the temp for the mass flow rate, same mass flow rate, it is the conservation of mass. Similar results for the flow rate, volume flow rate. And for the velocity, it's so interesting that this is, uh, you can see that the same velocity uh, of the fluid passing through the pipes, and this is because that uh, we do we have not considered the loss uh, during the length of the pipe loss to the flow, and we have same diameter for the pipes, so we will get same velocity of the fluid passing through these pipes, and other things if I want to see what's going on. Another interesting thing is here that when if I <coughs> hover, hover the pointer over each element in the network, I can see some calculated results there. For example, here you can see the total mass flow of 2259.17 kilogram per second and total volume flow rate of 2.5 uh, 3245 cube meter per second and other information for the mean pressure, drop pressure, temperature and uh, upstream downstream information of this uh, uh, of the fluid in the pipe. Here again you can see the information for this pipe. Next pipe you can see the so bunch of parameters calculated here you can find it out and for the tank uh, this is interesting that uh, is also calculated the mass the mass sources uh, yeah, even for the nodes we can see that what is the pressure or temperature here another way of the knowing the results for each pipe here that when I click on the pipe instead of having the table for the inputs I can click on the results and it gives me a calculation of many different parameters for the for the pipe. For example, for the pressures, uh, for the temperature, for uh, total mass flow rate, volume flow rate, and the other information depends to the uh, to the to, to the to the calculation that I have. Same here, if if there is anything that I want to know for the notes next pipe again in the result tab I can see the information here for that one so one way is that I uh, just uh, have the mouse over the pipe to know the information or click on that and see the results here in the table here even here I can see uh, the information here for the for the parameters for the pressure temperature and P or other things for the for the for the, for this reserve so to summary in this video i created a simple fluid network uh, consists of some pipes and use nodes for connecting the pipes and also defining the boundary conditions and uh, and we have a reservoir at the end uh, I showed you how to define the specification for the pipes and if uh, we want to do this for same for nodes and also have to assign the boundary conditions such as pressure and temperature and have to uh, run it for the steady state solution and have to check the results here uh, in this console for the pressure, uh, temperature or other parameters that have 
and for each element uh, for each uh, member of the network I can also uh, have the it says on the uh, on the element for, for example this pipe and we can see the calculated result here thank you very much